In this lecture, we'll study about the data link control. Please click on the link given in the description to download the notes. The data link layer provides a service called data link control for the reliable transmission of data over a physical medium. And this data link control deals with the design and procedures for the communication between two adjacent nodes. The data link control includes three functions, namely line discipline, flow control and error control. Let us look at the definitions of these three. Line discipline. Line discipline is a functionality of data link layer which provides a coordination among the link systems. It defines which device can send data and when can it send the data. Flow control. We know that before sending data, a sender must receive the acknowledgement from the receiver. So flow control is a set of procedures that tells the sender how much data it can transmit before it must wait for an acknowledgement from the receiver. Error control is both error detection and correction. It allows the receiver to inform the sender of any frames lost or dam damaged in transmission and coordinates the retransmission of those frames by the sender. Simply error control refers primarily to the methods of error detection and retransmission. In this lecture, we will study about the line discipline in detail. The other two that is error control and flow control will be presented in the next lectures. We have just seen that line discipline is a functionality of data link layer which provides a coordination among the link systems. It defines which data can send and when can it send the data. And the line discipline can be achieved in two ways that is inquiry or acknowledgement and poll or select. We will study about these in detail. Let us first see what is this ENQ or ACK. ENQ stands for inquiry and ACK stands for acknowledgement. This is used when there is no wrong receiver available on the link. For this functionality there should be a dedicated path between two devices so that the device capable of receiving the data is the intended one. And this inquiry acknowledgement coordinates which device will start the transmission and whether the recipient is ready or not. Let us now see the working of this. The transmitter transmits a frame called an inquiry that is ENQ asking whether the receiver is available to receive the data or not at that particular time. The receiver responds either with the positive acknowledgement ACK or with the negative acknowledgement NACK. It means that if there is a positive acknowledgement that means the receiver is ready to receive the transmission and if there is a negative acknowledgement it means that receiver is unable to accept the transmission. Now let us see the responses of the receiver. If the response to the inquiry sent by the sender is positive the sender starts transmitting its data. Let us see how does this happens. You have this station 1 and station 2 that is station 1 is the transmission transmitter and station 2 is the receiver. Now if the station 1 is sending a frame that is inquiry frame to station 2 to ask whether the receiver is available to receive the data or not. Now this receiver is sending acknowledgement to acknowledge the sender that it is ready to receive the data. This is how the connection is established. Once the connection is established the sender will send the data means it will start sending the data. Once one frame is received by the receiver, it will send an acknowledgement. And when the acknowledgement is received, the sender will again send the next frame. This is how the data transfer takes place. And once all of its data has been transmitted, the device finishes its transmit transmission with an EOT, end of transmission frame. And this is how the transmission is terminated. If the response to the inquiry is negative at first say that is the sender has sent an inquiry. For the inquiry here we have seen that the receiver has sent an acknowledgement saying that it is ready to receive the data. If suppose this is NACK that is negative acknowledgement. If that is negative then the sender disconnects and restarts the transmission at some other time. 
if the response is neither negative nor positive that is if doesn't if it uh, if the sender doesn't uh, receive any acknowledgement the sender assumes that the inquiry frame was lost somewhere during the transmission and makes three attempts to establish a link before giving up now let us see what is this poll or select the poll select method of line discipline works with those topologies where one device is designated as a primary station and the other devices as secondary stations now let us see the working of this in this the primary device and multiple secondary devices consists of a single transmission line and all the exchanges are made through the primary device even though the destination is a secondary device the primary device has control over the communication link and the secondary device just follows the instructions of the primary device the primary device determines which device is to be allowed to use the communication channel therefore we can say that at any time this primary device is the initiator of the session if the primary device wants to receive the data from the secondary device it asks the secondary device that they that is there anything to send this process is called polling means if the primary device wants to receive the data it will ask the secondary device if there is anything to send that is called polling if the primary device wants to send some data to the secondary device then it tells the target secondary to get ready to receive the data this process is called selecting that is if the primary device wants to receive the data it is polling in polling the primary device will receive the data whereas in selecting the primary device will send some data to the secondary device now let us see in detail what is this select and poll the select mode is used when the primary device has something to send let us see how this works you have multiple secondary device devices this is the primary device this is secondary device a b and c now suppose let let us think that the connection is established between primary device and secondary device when the primary device wants to send some data then it allows the secondary device for the upcoming transmission by transmitting a select frame here one field of the frame includes the address of the intended secondary device means this frame contains the address of this secondary device it is sending the select when the secondary device receives the select frame it sends an acknowledgement that indicates that the secondary is ready to receive the data the ready status is acknowledged to the primary device if the secondary device is ready to accept the data then the primary device sends two or more data frames to the intended secondary device once the data has been transmitted the secondary sends an acknowledgement and specifies that the data has been received this is all about the select now let us see how this poll mode works the poll mode is used when the primary device wants to receive some data from the secondary device here is the same you have primary device and three secondary devices when the primary device wants to receive the data then it asks each device first whether it has anything to send that is first it it asks the secondary device a it is sending a poll the secondary device a that is the first device sends a no acknowledgement that is negative acknowledgement means it has nothing to send so you can see here that the that firstly the primary asks the first secondary device if it responds with a negative acknowledgement it means that it has nothing to send now it approaches the second secondary device b with the same pole frame and if it responds with the acknowledgement and then it sends the data it means the secondary device will send the acknowledgement sometimes and also the data to the primary device the secondary device can send more than one frame one after the another or sometimes it may be required to send even the acknowledgement before sending each frame it all depends on the type of protocol being used this is how now once the primary device receives the data it will send the acknowledgement it again asks the secondary device 
C that is the third device but here it is sending negative acknowledgement so there is nothing to send it means that there is nothing to send this is how the polling mode works let us study about the error control in the next video